Andrew McCart, IFL TV and Association with MTK Global. Right, we've just done a good interview, but you've just been reading YouTube comments to me, so we're going to do a little segment here where you're going to read all the mean, mean YouTube, mean YouTube comments. How long you got? Well, got listen, time. wait a minute. Yeah, I've got a full battery. Let's do this. I can, I'm here all day. Uh, just start off from the top to the bottom. Let's go. I found Try and make me laugh. Jay Patani. Oh, no, it's Eddie Hearn's bum boy. It's got 63 likes. So there's three well people who think I'm a bum boy. That's out of order. <laughs> but, wait, uh, Jade, nice work. But Jim Life, you can have two tickets because you were, you were nice about me. So What's thanks. Jim Life, Jim Space Life. That was nice. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, read some of the nice ones as well. No, there's no nice ones. <laughs> there isn't any. He asked him, oh, you're a vegetarian. And when got an answer, turns around and says, I don't need that long answer. You're boring. What an absolute lit ignorant little prick. Wow. It was just a bit of sarcasm, to be honest. Maybe that's what people don't get. Mm. This guy was made in a lab using tissue from Hans Bin after an AJ fight. <laughs> that's funny, because I was born before AJ started boxing. Who knows? Who knows? Body language, very arrogant. Not sure how you can tell that from my body language. Never interview him again. Sorry about that, Richard Bloor. Sorry, I felt I've interviewed him as well. Uh, one minute in, can't listen to any more of this sarcastic prick. Wow, 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 I'd love to slap this little womble all over Vegas. What a complete bellend. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Uh, oh, the saltiness. Not saltiness. sure. Yeah. Not done himself any favours in this interview. Arrogance is the first qualification you need to work at Matchroom. Uh, why do they call you arrogant, do you think? Why, why is, why is the, what, three or four of them said you're an arrogant? Why? why does I don't that... think I'm arrogant. No, I, I know you. I, I, you're not arrogant at all. I don't know. Maybe that's what people... Frank the Spot Smith. It's because I've got a spot on my forehead. I mean, grown up. Good one. Yeah, real grown up there. It's like at school again. Uh, uh, where else? What else is there? Frank Smith just copies whatever Hearn says. They do all right out of it, to be honest. Frank Smith interviews sleeping emoji. Maybe just don't watch it. <laughs> that, that is what I would suge suggest. There's more character in a parsnip than this piece of wood. So it's, you're, a pars you're a piece of wood? No, I'm, yeah, I'm not. Yeah. Basically, I'm not a parsnip because they've got character, apparently. What an arrogant bellend. Another arrogant one. Frank and Hearn receding in the same spot, same haircut. Now you have read it, you can't unsee it. I'm not receding, Eddie is for sure, but I'm not. Um... I was going to keep watching, but I just remembered I have an old drawer that needs clearing out. Did you? How'd you get on with that, Tom Hart? Tom Hart. Yeah. The most pretentious, smug, smarmy guy in the whole boxing game. Do you know everyone in boxing? Well, no. You haven't met me yet. Yeah. Toff <laughs> Dosser. I'm from Chadwell Heath. It's rough around there. <laughs> Not from like, I didn't even go to private school. Uh, the charisma of a plant pot. I know a few plant pots. Good, good chat. Make the tea, wee man. It got me to where I was. That was me, that was my one. It was it? Yeah. What, the wee bit? The wee bit. When you talk really slow and keep rolling your eyes about, you look you look like you're thinking really hard about what you're saying. Don't know what that means. There has to be some good ones. Come on, Frank. No, another matchroom... Rent boy reading the same script as the, as the rest of Hearn's Merry Men. Who is Frank Smith and what say does he have in boxing? Could anyone tell me, please? Do you want to, do you want to tell him right now? No, not really. I'm a bit irrelevant. Frank's a bit numb, so smug, confident young man. I don't know if that was a bit like the arrogance bit. I really like Frank Smith, very to point and professional. You Thank go. you, sports mogul. On a prick level, somewhere between Piers Morgan and Garcia's dad. Please don't compare me to Piers Morgan. I'm happy to be a prick, but not, <laughs> not a comp complete weapon. Uh, someone compared me to Poch Pochettino, the, the Tottenham manager. Why? They say I look like him. Uh, Poundland Eddie Hearn. I actually quite like that. I'm I thought that was Sam Jones. Yeah, so did I. I don't think I'm as bad as Sam Jones. I'm only joking, Sam. <laughs> uh, Eddie's DNA matchroom clone has to realise matchroom. Well, what a gobshite. 
Yeah. Why did you agree with that one? No, no I'm just saying it was it's not original, but... Frank from Essex couldn't get a free ticket to the big fight. Not sure what that means. Uh, do one, Frank. It's quite fun reading these. It is good. I don't want to read what they say about me, so... Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. You interview me and I'll read the mean Baby, comments about me. Baby Hearn needs to sit up straight and work on his spin. It's because I was sitting in a chair like that. Uh, arrogant Dosser. Dosser. That's two from that's two dosses. Oh, I like that. Was there two, another dosser? Yeah, there's a dosser. Who is this fat plum? Nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, not an easy man to like. Don't take drugs, kids. You know what's funny about that? I have never in my life taken a drug. So, I mean, just <laughs> for your info. Boxing is full of delo del delusional, delusional people like this little man. Some of them, are, some of them are rough. Some of them are rough, man. It's quite funny though, isn't it? Boring. That's that's a rough one. Oh, do you know what? That's the you get the gist. Yeah. Dosser, arrogant. Arrogant Dosser. That's the gist of it. But why don't we? Why don't prick as well? Why don't we read the, a good one? This is, this, this is a boxing social. There is a couple of good ones in there. No, there isn't. Is there not? Well, if I was going to say if there was a good one, it's boxing social. Boxing social interview. Well, I don't know what the comments going to be like on this one. But uh, I was going to say if anyone. If anyone says a good thing, nice thing about you, would you give them two tickets to the next UK show? Uh, yeah, but that's they're just going to write nice things then, aren't they? Yeah. What I will do is the best comment on the interview. Original, like funny. Yeah. Judged by you, wins two tickets to the March 28th O2 show. But it's got, but it's got to make us both laugh. We've both yeah, got to agree. Be, but I'll, be hard. Yeah. As well. It can be harsh, good, good, but as long as it's funny, and, and you it, judge it. yeah. But it's neat. in fact, this is what we we'll do. It needs to offend you. It needs to be offensive, offensive. but funny. Offensive but funny. Cheers, mate. Thanks. It needs to make me upset. And they can tag me in as well. They can say something ni nasty about me as well. Right. right? Perfect. Deal. But then, do you hear that, guys? Comment on below for two tickets. The most offensive. Well, maybe keep the swear words out, but you know, offensive but funny comment about this guy who I have met personally. He's a fun guy. Very, very approachable. He's not arrogant. He is a prick, but he's not arrogant. And uh, trust me, meet the guy. Come and shake his hand, and I guarantee you'll change your mind. Is that nice? Thanks very much, mate. You win the tickets. <laughs> yeah, I see that. No point, right, Frank? Like I said, thanks for News 5 TV, and uh, I'm going to drink that coffee. I think it's cold now. Enjoy it. I'll try. Thanks, Frank.